So if you ask me how old I am, I don't know. <laughs> really? Really. When I'm small, I ask my parents how old I am. And my mom said, you are Ember, 10 times rice season. And then rice season is always once a year. And now I am 43 rice season. Do you know at least the month you were born? No. I don't okay. know which month, which year, which date. Don't know. So is that okay with you, right? Yeah, it's okay. We don't okay. we don't celebrate birthday. Also, we have no passport. We yeah. don't need that document because we will stay here for it. I've been trying to go the other way, but I can't seem to get you out of my head. In this episode, we're visiting a traditional Indonesian Sasak village. The Sasak are the native people of Lombok. We learned many interesting and fascinating facts about the history and the culture of Sasak tribe. For example, the older buildings are made out of the most unpredictable material ever. Buffalo dung? Keep on watching to learn how they kidnap their brides. My name is Ember. Uh, I was born and I live here and I've never been to next island of Indonesia, only here. Sade Rambitan, name of the village. And it is, the village is the oldest of Sasak village in the south of Lombok. Sasak is the native people of Lombok and then now we are living here. We are 700 people in this village, 150 houses and we are all in this village related, everybody is one of the big family because our tradition or culture here that when we married, we married with our cousin. We are here not married with people from far away or from outside. No married between aunt and nephew or uncle and niece, no. Must be the same line of the first cousin, second, third, fifth, more distance more like uh, uh, it is better because also many people cannot marry with a first or second cousin because we feel like a brother sister so like me I married with my eighth cousin you yeah. kidnap but, her uh, I asked her before I, I wouldn't be rejected because when we reject it's very embarrassing yeah? so <laughs> better asking me yeah. and then tradition to marry in Sasak here the boy have to kidnap the girl yeah it is in our culture forbidden for men to ask parents of the girl for marriage but the man or the boy he have to take her running hiding somewhere and then when the parents of the girl not angry anymore okay. they come back and then marry if the girl don't like the boy okay. then she has choice to reject the boy and if the boy is rejected by the girl that means a boy, he have to pay fine to the village. So he must be sure that girl is okay or better ask girl before. But don't ask the parents because if men ask the parents of the girl for marriage, that is very rude, very impolite. So take her running, then it's okay. The village been here for 15 generations. And we are here still keep our tradition, our culture and also religion. Religion that we have here, it is called Watu Telu religion. It is, is animism. Animism is we believe to the nature. And okay. then it is influenced by Hindus and influenced by Islam. <laughs> and once a month, we have tradition in our home that we have to do ritual ceremony in our home. We have to wash our house floor. We have to wash with buffalo or cow dung. The poo of the buffalo or poo of the cow, the okay. fresh one. We used to wash the floor of the house. Why is like that? Because buffalo or cow in Sasak, it is sacred animal because we do it for sacrifice. Okay. We sacrifice the buffalo, we sacrifice the cow for funerals, mm -hmm. for wedding, for any ritual. We cut it and the poo we use for the purification of the house. Maybe it is something stupid and it is 
for one hour or two hours after we wash it, it is a smell. <laughs> yeah, but when it is dry, it's okay not smell. Okay. So, so I will show you the house later that when we wash it, it is smelly, but when it is dry, it's okay not smell. Oh, okay. You may enter to the house when it is dry. Yeah. <laughs> okay. For the roof of the building, all is made from the grass. Yeah? For the roof, it is we have to replace every six to seven years. Six years or seven years, it is leaking and we have right. to take it off. And then we put the new one. They are very close together, eh? one and others. And all the house, no numbers. But we know each other, everyone. Uh -huh. And the bathroom is not inside of the house, but it must be outside. When they cook, you can see the smoke coming. We collect the water here. Just open the water this way. Okay. And do this. We get water from the well down there, like 12 meters deep. Palm oil, shell, and cotton. Oh, because there is no electricity inside, right? Uh, seven years ago, we got electricity, and it is uh, supported by Philips Company. Oh. Originally, we have nothing. We, we use this. Always. But today, when we have a ritual ceremony, we still use it. So we're going to visit now this house. The government of Indonesia census, they need to know population. And the walls made of bamboos and it is we cannot wash the floor with water because when we put water in the floor it's getting and it is the floor not cement at all the floor it is clay mm -hmm. and then we we mix clay with husk of the rice clay and husk of rice we mix it and then we have to wash the floor with buffalo or cow dung yeah buffalo or cow poop hi Milindali, huh? can she see when she reads see, yeah. It's very okay, dark. Like Come in, please. Yeah. Opi, Wangi, and her mom. <laughs> <laughs> Just walk in, please. Hello, girls. Hi. Hi. Just walk in. So we're walking in, so oh, walk in the house. Yeah, I thought she's my third cousin. Her name is Kaka Upi. Kaka Upi? Yeah. Kaka Upi, thank you. <laughs> thank you. So she's cooking right now. She's making the soup. She just finished mm -hmm. making the rice. And when they have some food, they're hanging there let it protect from the end. Oh, uh, okay. living room. Yeah, it is living room also for In sleeping. The bedroom, for, there. There, for mother and children sleep there. Okay. So father and mother sleeping not in the same room. Yeah, someone sleeping. <laughs> then you just get his heart. <laughs> he won't be able to live in the village. And, uh, do, do not try more. Don't try. <laughs> yeah. Do you guys have gym here? Gym? Yes. What is gym? For exercise? Ah, uh, sometimes people they meet with uh, concrete. Oh, oh real gym. Well, it is 15 generation, but we don't know in how many years because in the past time we have no calendar. Hey little guy. He is not used to see the people from other countries. The little one, yeah, we know their birthday, but we don't celebrate. He don't get the first haircut yet. In here for a few months of the babies, after the baby's born, we have to do first haircut. Before one year, we cut the hair of the babies. Okay. It is for ritual. Uh -huh. for good luck for the babies uh -huh. and for that ceremony we have to sacrifice nine chicken mm -hmm. or one goat okay and when a baby is born a baby is born in the home inside of the house and for seven days babies must be indoor only forbidden to bring the babies somewhere and seven days babies have no name yet wow. and we have to give name to the babies in the eighth days Okay. Yeah, and baby get name and we can bring somewhere and first yeah. haircut too. But if the babies yeah. have not much hair, then we can do yeah. when they're nine months. Yeah. When they're... And this is the spinning wheel that the people making the thread from the cotton. From cotton become the string. Okay. She chewing this. What is this? Uh, what this is, is this? This is the betel nut from the palm trees. Yeah. It's a make you wake. Yeah, like a stimulant. Yeah. And the nut leaf and a coral powder. Okay. Mix it. And but teeth very red. Her name? Bai Sul. Bai Sul. She's the oldest one here no, in the village? Not the oldest. She's someone older. someone's older. <laughs> Bye. She's more old. Uh, compared to, to her. She cannot hear. Yeah. Also, no kids. She is not married if ever. Never married.
nobody kidnap her ever. She don't. Many people told me that she don't want to be kidnapped. She don't want. She don't. Nobody want. wanted to no. pay penalty. Yeah. Huh? She was kidnapped, but she's running back. So, running back. so she was very picky. Yeah. She didn't like anyone. Yeah. This kind of our currency. This is the building where we store our rice. So we have 11 of this. And the building called it Lumbung and it is the shape is the symbol of Lumbung. Oh, and then in okay. this village is 80 percent of the people here cannot speak with Indonesian language. 80 percent of the people here they speaking only Sasak language. Okay. And Sasak language to Indonesian language completely different. different. Yeah. So you no know, people from here going to work to another island or another city. Everybody stays here. We are farmers. Everybody and we share. We are living like in a communal because we are all families anyway. It's like a big family. Yeah. And it is developed many years ago. No more place to build house here. So our people they built new house outside. And then today it is the village expanding, become nine more village around here. And the people who live in nine other village, they are our families. We are all related. So now we got more choice to marry. <laughs> 